Do you know what this is? It's our very own puppet stage. I'm getting ready to do a puppet show for my brother with all these puppets. Let me show you my puppets. This one's a sheep. Can you make the sound that this animal makes? Ba, ba, ba. Good job. What about this chicken? Cluck, cluck, cluck. Good job. And how about the sound that a cow makes? Moo, moo, moo. Amazing. And how about this donkey? Do you know what sound that he makes? Hee haw, hee haw, hee haw. Good. Puppet shows are so much fun. Ho, ho. I know what channel makes that sound. It's Ollie. Hello, my. Ho, ho. Playing with animal puppets, are you? Yep, I love playing with animals and making animal noises with my puppets. Animals make sounds. Yes, they do. Animals were part of the Christmas story, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Follow me through. Follow me through, Hill. Hello, friends. It's that time of year when I get to deliver lots of special Christmas letters and packages all over the neighborhood. Let me show you a few of them. This letter has red and white stripes. It looks like a candy cane. Ooh, look at this one with the trees. It reminds me of my Christmas tree. Oh, and look at this sparkly gift box. I wonder what's inside. Hey, this gift reminds me of our Bible story. Do you want to hear it? Well, let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. (laughs) 
Today's true story from the Bible begins with a woman named Mary. An angel told Mary that she was going to have Jesus, God's son. God loves us so much, God gave us Jesus. Not long after the angel visited Mary, Mary and Joseph traveled a long way to the town of Bethlehem. I'm going to show you some pictures, and can you tell me how Mary and Joseph traveled to Bethlehem? Did they travel on a bus? Did they travel on a plane? Did they travel on a donkey? Or did they travel on a scooter? That's right! Mary and Joseph traveled a long way to Bethlehem on a donkey. When they finally got all the way to Bethlehem, they needed to find a place to stay. Now, I'm going to show you some pictures. Can you tell me where they stayed? Did Mary and Joseph stay in a hotel, in a castle, in a house, or in a stable? That's right, they stayed in a stable. And a stable is a place where animals live. Can you make a sound like a cow? Moo! Can you make a sound like a sheep? Ba! <laughs> Whoa! Hearing all of your animal sounds must be what it was like for Mary and Joseph when they were staying in that stable. While Mary and Joseph were in the stable, it was time for Jesus to be born. After Jesus was born, Mary wrapped him in strips of cloth and placed him in a manger full of straw. Can everybody rock baby Jesus with me? Jesus is so special because Jesus is God's son. Now that you know part of the true story of Christmas, it's your turn to show and tell what you know. When I show you a picture from today's story, I want you to tell me what you see. Are you ready? Can you tell me what you see? <laughs> That's right! Jesus was born in a stable full of animals. And Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. That's the truth, friends. I'll see you next time. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. God showed his love by sending Jesus for you and me, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, Jesus was born in a stable with animals. And Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it. Good. I know. I can tell my brother the true story of Christmas with all of my puppets. I just need to find a puppet to be baby Jesus. See you next time. Bye. God has given a son to us. Isaiah 9, 6. God has given a son to us. Isaiah 9, 6.